Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today we're going to hit this REO Speedwagon tune. Uh, take it on the run. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll have a lot of success with this. This is a, uh, uh, not a hard song at all, um, but a, a a great rock tune. You know, if you guys are out there uh, still on the trenches doing your gigs, um, this is one that probably could still get you could still, still get some mileage out of if you can do it, uh, if you do it right, I guess. Uh, so anyway, the uh, tune opens up with uh, "Heard It From a Friend." So I can't sing it. I know you guys are tired of hearing that, but I have to say it every time because, you know, I do have new um, new people watching the tutorials. So if I sing the melody, uh, it gets copyright flagged. And then that portion of the video gets muted and that's useless to all of us. So I'll have to kind of spoken word you through this. I learned about that the hard way. Um, so I heard it from a friend. So you guys got, you know where I'm at, right? At the beginning of the song. Uh, and it's... So that's what bring this, uh, brings a song in. Uh, I play G like this. Um, some people play it like that. Some people play it like that. You know, whatever, you know. I'm not a real stickler, guys, when it comes to when I teach. I mean, um, oh, you have to do this that way, and you have to do that this way. And, you know, maybe maybe I should. I don't know. I always um, try to keep people comfortable, you know. So playing, playing things the way that feels good for you is uh, not a bad thing. So, um, and there's benefits of playing G like this. Uh, because then uh, you have your first finger available to you to make it a G7. Uh, you have your first finger available to you to, to, uh, to put a sus on there if you want. So, you know, there's benefits of doing it um, a couple different ways. But anyway, uh, so we got G. Played like that. Then a C add uh, two, which is kind of like a, it almost looks like a condensed G. Second finger there. First finger is going to go back here on the fourth string, second fret. And then I put these two guys right there on the two thin strings. That's your C add to D. And then he comes back and um, tags that chord uh, when he comes back around. Heard it from the friend. Messing. I think on the word messing, you have to check. Uh, so then, uh, so we got that. When that comes in there, it's just a D chord with a sus. So you play D, add your pinky, take it off the pinky and put it back on. And then, the, and then he starts singing the first verse. Now you'll hear, that's interesting, I want to point that out. You're, uh, he doesn't always do that, but sometimes it's intermittent. You have that G, and then he walks into that C add two I was talking to you about. And I think he starts doing that when uh, when the vocals start. Then he goes, nice little, you know, uh, that's uh, going from C to uh, an E, then play your D chord. So it'll look like this. This is what's going on underneath. You have to really listen to it. Listen to the tune and, and, and like really dial in. He, You'll hear it. Right here. Yeah. So C, single note. E, single note. D. You know, so uh, let's, we'll play that in real time. Then he goes. 
and that's a cool little lick. Uh, 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 it's kind of a off the D chord idea. What you're gonna do is uh, you don't need anything but that note there. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting the uh, third string in the second and then hammering this first finger down on the third string. And then, so uh, this is gonna be a, a third and second string played together and fourth and third string played together. And then I'm hammering on the fourth string. So hammering on the third, hammering on the fourth. But when I'm hammering on the third string, I'm playing three and two. When I'm hammering on the fourth string, I'm playing four and three. And I'm playing it sloppy. You want those notes coming out clean. There it is. Right, if, because if you're hitting multiple strings at that part, you're gonna get string noise and uh, you're gonna lose, uh, you're gonna lose it. So, uh, let's go through that again. Up to that point. Oh, sorry. We got that. Uh, now we go into the chorus with that big to the E minor. Uh, you can play that single notes. Uh, the harmony there though is G, a G chord and then a D with the F sharp in the bass. So if you play it that way, it's a much thicker sound. If you're one guy in a band, one guitar player, um, you know, it, this will end up sounding a little thin. You know, you might want to put the harmony under there. You know, that's, a, you know, G, and then when you play this D chord, wrap that thumb around. And then you're on the E minor chord. And we're at take it on the run. Here we go again. So I walked in there. And then we're back around for the next verse. So anyway, that's the course. Uh, the solo, um, let's do that. So, uh, you know where we're at. <clears throat> Uh, uh, so. Uh, so, uh, what we're doing there is. way up here in the stratosphere. So let's talk about that first lick. Uh, we're just doing this double stop here at the 15th fret, these two uh, thin strings. I play it like this so I can facilitate the next move. So I'll play with my third finger and my pinky and then put my second finger down here on the first string so I'm ready to go with. All I have to do then is just lift the pinky. And I have that second sound. And then put your first finger here across both thin strings at the 12th. And that's the end of the lick. The, the, the. And then I think he goes back up to that. So it's like this. Sorry, guys. I'm looking at it backwards because I'm looking at my, my, uh, my camera here. Then we go up to 17 with those two notes. Then a single note on 15, 17, 20. 
19, 22. And then we're back around. Seventeen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, nineteen, twenty-two. Then he goes. Uh, and then we're at the second string, seven, uh, seventeenth fret. I'll just play this for you. Second string. So that's where I'm at. So I just went that little box right there. That's that lick. So it's all out of this box shape right here. 15, 17, 15, 17. So that's the whole thing, guys. Second string. Release. Second string. First string. Second string. I keep goofing that up. So second string. Second string. Second string. Second string. Then he does this, um, and that is second string at the 17th fret, third string at the 16th. And we're just kind of tremolo in that. Those two strings, then he goes. So uh, that's that, like that quick picking. Then we got um, on the second string, 17. 17, 19, 20. First string, 17, 19, 20. 22. I think he might have a 24 fret guitar. I don't. Uh, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> so, anyway, let me uh, butcher that solo in super slow motion. Um, That's the part I can't do. I think he's playing a 24 fret guitar. Uh, but at any rate, REO taking on the run. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, that's the best I can do on that one. Hope it's helpful. www.theguitar-shop.com. Email the guitar shop studios at gmail.com. Stay safe out there at those gigs, guys. And uh, let me know how you're doing.